For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's good, everybody? This is Sable Fighting 4, TCG match with the new deck Brickamo, Conclodor, and Brute Bonnet. Ironically, both uh, black and white Pokemon. Brute Bonnet is basically Among Us. So another deck that doesn't use energies, it's pretty much, it's like every damn regular deck needs this sort of gimmick. They gotta just somehow work without any energies. Even cheap energy might not be enough these days, just using one energy to attack. They gotta have some crazy good attack to hit for one energy and they usually don't. But at least Conkildur, if we do the combo, 250 for costless is very very good. Now. I mulligan and this guy's taking forever again to set up. I don't know why all these players do this. When I just boot up a game, I want to just start with it as soon as possible. And not just because I'm recording, just in general. Just you're going to play a lot of games, right? You're going to do a lot. Might as well get the games over with. But they just boot up the game and leave. Anyway, so this guy's opening up with three Pokemon off the bat. And it is, well, Charizard, I guess. I mean, the way the way it appears to me, uh, you got the Charmander, you got the PG, and he opened up with the um, Del Fox. So he's running that Pokemon too. It's a good thing I do have Manaphy in this deck. It's another thing that sort of snipes. Um, I didn't really forgot about it, but. It doesn't see that much play all the time, so I didn't want to mention in the deck profile that's something that's going to be coming up all the time. Alright, and I'm going to discard the other capsule so we can see more stuff. And I did see the Cavill, or yeah, Clavel, whatever your damn name is. And I'm going to get the remaining basic Pokemon. It appears that the Manaphy is prized, damn it all, just the one time I need it. So I'll poison this thing, even though it, it doesn't really matter if we hit this with Conkildur. We do enough damage to kill it. But might as well, I guess. I mean, maybe the damage on the Timber isn't going to matter either. But what I got to do is evolve into my Stage 2 as soon as possible. Um, he played first, so there's a good chance he'll get the Pidgeot out and get the Charizard out. I don't know how they can always do it, these Charizard decks, but they do. Uh, instead, though, he just burned his supporter for that uh, airy chick, Shaman, just to discard my Ultra Ball. Now, this does suck a little bit, but at the same time, it's going to make my Cynthia more effective, I suppose. I mean, I guess I could have just used the Ultra Ball to search something, and yeah, it would have made a Cynthia even more effective. But anyway, couldn't do much, and uh, that's good for us. He did burn me, so gotta be careful and all I can really do is just use Among Us. Morty isn't gonna be good in this position because he doesn't have a lot of Pokemon. This why this is why this card is just these situational supporter cards I don't really dig them. I just want simple consistent supporters like Cynthia, you know, Professor Oak's new theory, Shuffle Draw 6 just solid stuff like if you're gonna do the Morty this sort of a straight draw effect like Steven's advice Make him as good as Steven's advice, or at least Erica from Sun and Moon. You know, she was slightly worse than Steven, but you still drew the max amount. You know, you didn't have to discard. The active Pokemon counted too. So might as well. Now, I got the Girder, decided to evolve on the bench. I still am not going to die on the... Um, uh, what's it called? The active timber even with the burn and poison but he did get the third energy and he's gonna go for the snipe now oh how i hate this how i hate this so much so magical fire so what he's gonna do is of course gonna kill the active and then kill my girder you know if we had more than 100 hp if we had like 150 or 160 like we're supposed to as a stage one that can still evolve then I would have lived, but because we don't, we didn't. 
and I still don't have a worthwhile supporter to use and now I see the rare candy but yeah I turned too late but we're still gonna get the job at least and I'm gonna use the Miriam I don't really have anything else to use but we do have enough stuff to shuffle in since he had to get the double kill with the Vel Fox. So I'm gonna discard the useless Morty and an Among Us to get another Timber. Gotta do this. And next turn I should have an effective Grusha. And we're gonna get a kill too. So Del Fox is softened up anyway, but 250 is gonna do the job. What a waste. Regardless, even prizes. So it's still game on. I see my stadium too, but it's not going to be good against the Charizard. Uh, he didn't get the big guy out yet. Uh, I really seriously doubt he's going to struggle for this turn though. He goes for that Arvin, so I'm, I'm pretty much, yeah. Probably going to get the candy or the Ultra Ball, just what he needs to evolve. And usually once they get the Pidgeot out, they can just grab uh, the other piece missing and get the Charizard out too. With that big ass hand. So he does evolve into the Charizard EX, and he got the Reshiram V down. Wow, I thought I was the only dude using this card, but I guess there's other people. So this card, I'm pretty sure he's running it. It's just a method to get Fire Energy from the deck when you attack. Not very necessary for Charizard EX, but I guess he has it, and you can use the Stone as well. So he can get another free card with that. Does have the Switch, and he's going to auto-kill my Conkle door. Quite unfortunate. So the stone comes down as well. He's gonna use it. I'm looking at my stuff here. I only used the rare candy, one rare candy. Ultra Ball is gone. Deck is a little bit thin, maybe if I use the Grusha, but it's still no guarantee. I'm gonna see what I need. I have to see what I need here. I just gotta keep putting the pressure, or he's just gonna finish me off. Promote the timber. And like I said in the deck profile, I mean, this would have been just so perfect if we could have used, pretty much if we could have used the, uh, the stadium for the poison, I could have actually killed the Charizard with one attack at the end of his turn. So I have a tough decision to make here. If I use the Arvin, I can get the guaranteed like conquer duel with Ultra Ball, but then I'm not going to have anything for next turn. So we got to gamble here. I think I have to use the Grusha, but instead I just use the Ultra Ball in the end because I just I don't have faith at drawing a bunch of cards with Grusha. It just wasn't going to be enough. I did consider gambling, but I ended up not gambling. And I'm going to discard the boss's orders, which is a, a tough loss, but I got to go for it. Get the guaranteed card and maybe, maybe... If he keeps using the Charizard, he'll die on his turn, even without the Stadium. And then I have time to set up, but just thin thin the deck, and then it just makes the Grusha more effective. I mean, I didn't really have much choice here. I could have risked it with the Grusha, but if we didn't see anything, it was going to be pretty bad. In the same boat without an attack. So yes, 280 damage. He was going to be dead at the end of the turn if my stadium would work. Okay. He does have the other Charmander, so I don't think it's going to be that difficult. But he didn't actually get the pitch out, out yet, so maybe he is going to be able to get the other Charizard out. His deck is pretty thick too. He didn't really do much. He used the V-Star power with the stone. He's powering up the Reshiram, which is a good sign. I think it's actually going to be pretty good if he wants to use that. I can just uh, easily kill it and get two prizes out of it too. So once I end my turn, this Charizard is going to go down. It would have been cooler if it died on his turn. But I'm unable to attack, so it's going to work out. And now, what we're going to do is use the Nest Ball, get the Timber. I only have one left in the deck. Damn, I wanted to get another one. So if he pulls, I'm toast. The Ultra Ball. I'm actually going to grab this. So we got the... We have the Conquer Duel guaranteed next turn. 
I think I have one dude prized and I am gonna get rid of my stadium for my other stadium just to hopefully maybe make it harder on the rest ramp to attack. So if he can't get the Charizard or Pidgeot out, you know, the rest ram can't do much. So get the double prize, we're even. I'm struggling a lot here, but I do see the other Timber. I knew there was one in the prizes. And just as long as he can't do anything, so I can get the Conkeldur and at least have another Timber down, so I can have something ready to evolve, gives me a little bit of hope. So he's going for Arvin. That's not a good sign, and he does get the rare candy. So I think Pidgeot is probably going to be out now. Yeah, Pidgeot is out. Um, this, is, this makes it likely for the Charizard to come out too, so he'll be able to make an attack. As long as you don't pull, that's all I care about. If he pulls the timber, it's basically over. That's a big drawback with the errated rare candy. Most of you probably don't even know. But I think he just used his uh, search to get like a Charizard or another candy to get the stage two. So I might be safe. I mean, there's also the prime catcher, but yeah, third energy and goes for Super Rod. So just two cards left in the deck. I think I might be alright. I mean, I want him to use the Reshiram, but I think he's just going to play it smart and switch. I mean, he can't, he can't attack with this guy anyway, so he would have to use the Charizard. So this basically just leaves me now to require the Prime Catcher. If I don't see the Prime Catcher, I can't win. So we gotta make sure we do this correctly. I'm gonna promote the Timber, because I'm gonna burn the switch regardless. Uh, Clavel, something useless. But we're gonna discard Enhance Hammer, and I'm gonna discard... Actually, ah, oh, damn, that was a misplay. I should have discarded the Clavel, and attached the other tool. Shit. To draw an additional card. Yeah, unfortunate. Play the Timber down and play the Switch. I gotta just do this. Uh, I gotta make this play. If we don't see the Prime Catcher, we don't win. So draw six cards and I did see it. Excellent. And this gives me game. Very good. So that was a close one. I mean, I should have really discarded Clavel too and attached the tool, but we did see the one card we needed. So just barely, I get game just barely against the Charizard. But still a GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. What I?